Hey Tanner Drummers, welcome to the second installment of my Learn This Lick series. I want to give a big shout out and thank Idiophonic Harry on Instagram for recommending the 2017 Blue Devils Closer Drum Break. Whoa, 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 hold on a second here. Look, I get it, you used to be good. But you aged out like what, 20 years ago? Well, not quite. Have you even seen what the quad lines are playing these days? Seen a little bit. No, no, no. Alright, sit down, I'm gonna learn you something. Tempo of 190 beats per minute. Each six tuplet, 0.05 seconds long. You're gonna really have to work those back fingers. Quadruple stroke, four on the right, four on the left. Got some crazy inter, five lit over three counts. Do we even know how to count that? Each of these notes are one third of the beat. Three fifths, three tenths. Beat two, beat three, beat four. One count, three counts. So now it's your turn. Get to practicing. Don't take any shortcuts. Nice shirt, by the way. Well, thanks. Do you like it? No. Oh. All right, so let's head on over to Lot Hype to check out this lick and click on Blue Devils, scroll all the way down to 2017 Drum Break, and let's take a look at this thing. Right off the bat, you see it's in 7-4, so obviously seven quarter notes per measure, and we have a tempo of 190 beats per minute. Now, I can tell you right now, I was unable to get it all the way up to 190. I think I maxed out at about 176 started to get really sloppy after that, so hopefully you have better luck than I did. We're gonna jump ahead to measure five and start there. You can see right off the bat, we have some really fast six tuplet singles on the shot drums. Those are really fast. And even the 16th notes in measure six are pretty fast as well. I'm gonna kind of breeze through those first couple measures because it's more about building up the speed. The pattern itself isn't terribly hard. It definitely is going to take some time to get it in your hands, but those measures are more about just speed chops. And what I think is the more important thing to focus on with this lick is all the different rhythm interpretations. we got some really crazy stuff here, uh, specifically in measure 11 with a five lit over three counts. So I'm going to focus mostly on the interpretations, and I really want you to get those locked in at slow tempos and really make sure that as soon as that new count hits, you are playing that new interpretation. Make sure you're really taking these slow and making sure you're getting all these rhythms in time. So we start up on drum one and two with some rim shots, and then down to drum four for some eighth notes. And then we jump right into some super fast singles. Got some six tuplets on the shot drums, releasing down on drum three. And then we have a 7E e and a 1 for our release, so. All right, moving on from there, this is a pretty fun measure. Uh, we have some 16th notes with a couple crosses and some sweeps. So we start with right, left, 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 and a triple stroke left with a slight accent to start it. And we have some right, a right sweep across the shot drums and then the left of drums four to two. I consider the next two counts like a mini pattern inside this lick. So we have three E and a four E and a five. So it actually starts crossed even though it's not notated in the music. So that flows pretty well once you get comfortable with it. And then from there, we're gonna do Left, right, right, shot. Okay, so that's, uh, let's see, count five, five E and a uh, six. Count six is six E and a. Uh, and then count seven, we have a really fast roll on the shot drums. So let's play just that measure. A little faster. All 
And moving on, measure seven, we have one, two, and So that's pretty easy. And then count five is one, E, and uh, six. And then, so. Make sure you get some nice, good left accents there. So that measure all together. All right, measure eight, we have some quadruple strokes. Now these are almost easier as you get up to faster tempos because you can really use those back fingers and use that momentum from the first accent to get those last couple notes out. But we're gonna do one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a five and six and seven. So for these half note triplets, I almost think of that count two is kind of being the beginning of the measure, just how my brain kind of feels it. So we have the quadruple strokes. And then so that right shot on the, the shot drum, that's kind of the start of a new measure for me in my brain. So maybe that'll help you, I don't know. Let's go ahead and grab the metronome, turn it on here, be at about 110. So I'll just start right on the half note triplets. So starting right on the half note triplets, play it on one drum first, okay? See how my left, that release, lined it up right with the metronome? That's what you want. And in the second triplet, even though there's the double right and the double left, just focus on that first note of each and make sure it's the same exact speed as what you played in the first triplet. So here we go, both those triplets. One, two. Okay. And then let's add the last triplet on there. All right, not too bad. The next measure, we have a five lit, which is also over two counts. We switched to four, four here, by the way. But this five lit has a paradiddle diddle starting on the third partial of the five lit. All right, so if you were gonna, so for this pattern, I would suggest starting with the check. So if you took out that, that little, that first left of the paradiddle diddle, take out those drags at the end, and you basically have one, two, three, four, five. Okay? One, two, three, four, five. Of course, that first left is a flam, but we'll forget that for now. One, two, three, four, five. All right, again with your metronome. Once you get comfortable with that, try to add that paradiddle diddle in but try to keep that check pattern in your brain so you make sure everything is the same speed. All right, once you get comfortable with that, play it up the drums. We start down on drum four, and work our way up and release on the high shot drum. So for these weird five-lit patterns, you have to play these very slow with your metronome. Because we're playing this five-lit with a paradiddle diddle inside of it, but then we go right back to eighth notes. But then we go right to eighth notes. So you need to make sure that as soon as that count three hits, you're in eighth note mode, and it's a completely different interpretation than the five-lits. So if we add the eighth notes and the four E and, it'd be like this. So what I wanna do now before we move on is play the measure before it, measure nine, 
into this measure 10, okay? Because that's a very weird change from the, the triplets into the fivelet. So you need to make sure you get that perfectly and have it lined up with your metronome. So let's try that. Now let's take a look at measure 11. This is a crazy, crazy measure. So we start off with just a triplet. That's nice. And then we have a fivelet, but this time it is over three counts. What? I, I, I don't know. I, I've never seen this before. Um, so let's just, let's just try to figure it out. All right. So we have a triplet to start off. If we were to play three counts of triplets, we'd have how many notes? Nine. Okay. So here we have a fivelet. Okay. If we just, Try to simplify this five-lit pattern. You see we start off with those two quarter notes and then it goes into eighths. Let's just think about if everything was eighth notes, there would be 10 notes there over three counts. So since there's 10 notes, and if we were playing triplets, there'd be only nine notes, we know that these five-lit eighth notes are faster than the count one triplets, all right? So that's the main thing, is it just slightly faster Play along with the metronome and see what happens and just keep working at it until you get it to line up. So let's get our triplet locked in. Just we'll get rid of the flam. Just do left, right, right, left, right, right. For right now, we're just gonna play 10 5 lit eighth notes over those three counts. We'll do one bar of triplets and then another triplet on count one. Hey, we lined up. So see how I just went a little bit faster for the fivelet, and we're trying to end right with the metronome. Tiny bit fast that time. No, that was terrible. All right, so there we go, we're getting it. All right, so that was a little choppy on my part. It was a little inconsistent, but you get the idea. It's all about just trial and error. You wanna see if you're going too fast or too slow and adjust accordingly. And this is just gonna take reps over and over until you kind of get the feel in your hands. But of course, that's not what they wrote. We have these quarter notes to start off. So what I want you to do is now that you kind of got the speed down with the double strokes, we're gonna change those first two to just single strokes, okay? And we'll add that flam in as well. So you wanna kinda of keep those double strokes, the 10 notes in your brain, but you're only playing the first, uh, the first of the two notes. All right, so let's try it as written now. We're just on one drum. There we go. So I wasn't lining up exactly perfect with the metronome, but it was pretty close. So just, it's gonna take some, some trial and error and just keep working at it. Make sure you're, you're trying to stay locked in with the metronome and, and hopefully your hands will kind of remember what speed to do. So uh, the around pattern from that for that part isn't too tough. We just have So after that we go to a triplet, but this has a left paradiddle starting on the second partial. So we have triplet, triplet, and then we have a fivelet again, but this one is over two counts. So this is kind of probably more what you're used to as far as a fivelet. And it's basically, uh, you have a tap and then doubles, uh, and then a roll for the rest of it. And we do have a couple sweeps here. So one, two, three, four, five, and then release down on drum four. 
So just that triplet and the fivelet would go something like this. As far as the triplet into the fivelet, the triplet is gonna be slightly faster because over two counts, it would have six notes, whereas the fivelet has five, uh, not counting the drags and, and paradiddle, of course. Um, so we know that the fivelet is gonna be slightly slower. So let's try that with our metronome. All right, so not too bad. All right, almost done, last measure. So here we have another fivelet. Of course, we have a little herita in there. It couldn't be just a, a straightforward fivelet. But here, first focus on the check. So if we take out the herita, we basically have one, two, three, four, five, release. One, two, three, four, five, release. So if we do the five-lit roll into that. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So putting that around, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And from there, we're almost done. We have another triplet over two counts. <laughs> So from there, we have another half note triplet. And just a couple quarter notes and a double stop release. And that's basically it. There is a lot here to go over. Make sure you're taking these things very slowly and playing them on one drum to make sure you're getting the sticking and most importantly, the interpretation. There's some really tricky stuff, things that I have never seen before. So. Uh, this is this is quite a lick here quite a lick and I could see how yeah You could easily just breeze through it and kind of slop through the the rhythms But if you really want to play this correctly You need to take it very slowly and just be so diligent about getting everything to line up with your metronome So let's go ahead and, and play this through I'm gonna keep this at the at 110 So that was at 110, let's bump it up a little bit. There's 136. Is one forty four.
Now this is a very difficult lick. I have to confess, I couldn't get it up to 190 beats per minute. That is really fast, especially for those singles at the beginning. So take it slow, have some fun with it, and I'll see you on the next video.